Welcome back to another place with. Today we're going to cover Steampunk Tower 2, a game that I've played a little bit of um, the other day before release, and it's a tower defense. I've never got very far, but it's tower defense that is supposedly telling a story, but I don't know or care because I've just been skipping it. But greetings, Commander. I am Lord Bit Bit Bit. bit. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to something something. Skip 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 skippy. She's the reason why I skipped. I wonder why the whole outfit being the reason why, but nonetheless, skip. So, it's a very weird management kind of tower defense thing. I don't normally like tower defense, as it were. I have some weird reason. I don't know why, but this is not I, I don't hate it, but I don't know if I fully like it either. So, that right there is our tower. Which plants itself in the ground. Now, click over there and the enemy start coming. Yeah, that's literally it. I, I can't really do much here, but I can move the turret. This is literally the reason why I, I don't really enjoy a lot of tower defense, because it's very much... Okay, well, now there's nothing for you to do. I can actually click there, and later on it gives me some magic power, but that's to be explained yet. But now I'm I'm not really doing anything. And this tends to be my problem with tower defense for the most part, which is I I don't have anything to do. I'm not aiming the guns, I'm not doing much. And some tower defense games tend to push for a... be very busy kind of thing to go, oh look, we're, we're not going to make you sit there and not really care. So, this is a box. You don't loot it, you don't buy it, you just click on it and oh you've got some money uranium uh mushrooms mushrooms and silver and bullets i think i don't know uh, then you get some reward then you get some magic story that i don't care about i'd rather play the game and this is where you buy and upgrade your turrets so, now I have three, I can also upgrade by doing things and go, ooh, look, I have whatever that was. Go away, boobs McBoops. Yeah. I don't really care for her, but you may have noticed I clicked over here and it's a very Facebook kind of... thing, this bit over here, the fact that you click and then, ooh, you get money after a while, but I, I don't feel like there's a lot of trappings of that kind of game, or gameplay, I should say. So next, yes, ooh, I can repair and then battle. I don't... I don't feel like there's a massive amount of... Pr 
problems there. Click here. Oh. Oh, and I didn't... I didn't have the time to get my third gun. Oh well. Uh, yeah, for the most part, this is all it is. This is all the main part of the game is. But later on you have other ways of quote-unquote monetizing, which... Yes, do seem very Facebook kind of game. Ooh, look, click here. Oh, you get money. These guys are a little bit stronger. There's no, as far as I've noticed, obvious reason why. They just seem to be stronger for the sake of stronger. And that's about it. Yeah, we're, we're about to get hit a little. But for the most part, we have won. Right, you set over there. So the yellow bar over here is how much or how long they can sit there for. For example, sitting here, that's just recharging their batteries or whatever. And this is where the game starts getting a little more interesting. You have special powers. You just have kill everything buttons or not buttons but something to click on. You move over there, you move over there, in fact you sit there for a second, click you. So he's going to rest and recharge for a second. He's going to hold off the armadillo. You sit over there now. Come on. So the bullets are bouncing off of the armor, which is kind of obvious at this point. And after a while, that thing will die. Yeah, very tower defense or basic tower defense kind of gameplay. And I don't know why I like it. I think it's because I can just go skip, skip, skippity skip. And the fact that I know... Yes, yeah, skip, skip, skip. The fact that I know there's quite a bit of game left. And I've played about an hour. And still quite a bit of game. I'm not even out of Spain, to put it that way. So yeah, the game has a bit in it. Now I can buy a... I wouldn't say turret, I would say... Explosive hell for everyone else. And this is one of... I don't know what it is, but it's, it's like a little boss battle. There are boss battles, like you just saw, that was the tutorial boss battle. I think I'm still partly in a tutorial, but nonetheless, uh, let's just add everyone. In fact, do I? Yeah, I will. Uh, so... So, after a while, you'll get this... I don't know what the best word would be, but you'll have the bar drop down and changing people out is a little harder then, so you have to work out how to do that. That's the only problem I've had, but as I was going to say, why is the bells tolling? Or why are the bells tolling, I should say. Yeah, that was a good idea of putting the two guns over there. See, this guy can't shoot any flying... 
things mostly because it's it's a missile he's firing, so it's a little harder to deal with things when it's a missile and aiming up. But nonetheless, um, yeah, there's flying prototypes, I think it is, coming from both sides. Let's swap you out for a second and special move there and then you back in. Good. Yeah, the game has a little bit of management there, but for the most part, there's not a major problem. There's not a, ooh, I must, uh, I don't feel overwhelmed, which is the way that most most tower defense games feel when it comes to their their way of fixing the lack of gameplay as I call it let's just fire come on there you go on. There you go. Some people. Right. Kill them, murder them, maim them. It would have helped if you were a bit faster there, but nonetheless, I had a bit of a coughing fit there for a second, so I'll excuse my own problems. Right. Skip, skip, skip. That was a boss. It's Lady Hitler, I think. I don't know. Now, I've unlocked a part of the world. I don't think this was on Facebook, but it does seem like very Facebook style gameplay. Right, so these red bits over here and here and here and here are little areas that are still partially in control by the evil axis or whatever. And once you've beaten them on your first round, you'll have to go back again to rid the area of the evil and such. So, yeah, that's the thing. Let's go back here. Hmm, I can get more money. Or I could possibly look at upgrading. Uh, can I see my tower as it is right now? Where's that? I don't remember where it is. How would I upgrade? You need to be level 2. I am level 2. And I need uranium and level 3 apparently. That's very weird. Um, yeah. Where, where, where am I looking for? That's options. That's back in here. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just build that. Ooh, you get money. So, yeah, let's go for one last boss battle before I end it today. It's a very weird game. Uh, yeah, I don't have the third level. Hmm. I'm glad I didn't buy another turret. You can skip that cutscene, but this one's a bit of a loading one. Uh, yeah. Now the terrain has changed a little. That's all you'll really see. The enemies tend to be roughly the same. I don't... I don't think there's a massive requirement. Oh, you must play this game. It's one of the best... No, it's... I wouldn't say this is one of the best games that I've played in a while. But it is a good game, nonetheless. 
and it's it's tower defense and I don't hate it. I think that's the biggest thing about it. It's it's not something I hate. Even if I do tend to say I hate this genre very, very often. Now, if you hurry up... Come on. There you go. And get the blue. There we go. And run right about there. And that's that battle done. Let's wait until about there. It'll just delay the... Or I thought it would delay the incoming problem, but I guess not. I think you can deal with what's left. Yeah. And then you fire down there. Good. Yeah, there's no way to direct fire. They'll just fire whatever is in that area as soon as possible. And there we go. Ah, right, let's swap you out. But yeah, I'm enjoying it for a change. Ah, right, you... You are having a problem, aren't you? Now, get back in. Uh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Fire! Good. Fire! Uh, down you over there. I'm slowly dying. Come on. Bits of the building just collapsed, I think. I don't... I don't know. Oh, we still have the last wave. See, this is why I like having the extra floor room, because you can actually deal with things. Hmm. Do I want to move you over? No, I think they'll be fine. Ah. Ah, right, this is what I was on about. So, clicking on the little indicators uh, at specific times, or before the time runs up, gives you a bit of this blue steam, I guess. Uh, it gives you the steam ray, which is basically... Alright, you want me to click over here instead. The giant iris killing everyone. I like that button. It's fun. It's a good little button. But for the most part, you've seen everything. You've seen how the game works. You've seen Mussolini or Hitler or whatever her face is over there. And now I can build a train station. Once you've built a train station, yes, you can choose your defeated enemy to go in that direction. And then after a while, you'll get money. It's, it's odd, I'll admit, but it's fun. Ooh, tower upgrades. More space for overheated steam. Cool. What's, what's the next one? Uh, more armor. I'll have it. Overheated steam comes from... Oh, no. I don't need that. What's this? No, oh, I need level 6. Where are you? Hmm. 200 uranium, need 150 uranium. Right, unlock, yep. And that's about as far as I've gotten. The game's pretty big!